I'm Mark. And I'm Morgan. And we are Grove, Grove Electric. Electric. We are out at Morgan's brother's wedding and it is literally in the middle of nowhere. We have a few charging options all 40 minutes away from us because unfortunately the hotel we are staying at does not have charging and the local destination chargers are only for guests of the other hotels. And honestly, we didn't want to stay at those hotels because we now also have a new co-pilot here on this channel. Yes, we do. So please meet Miss Willow. Willow. We just adopted her. Hey, little girl. We just adopted her, and so she is five months old now, and she is going to be joining us for our adventures. Hey, you want to say hi to your fans? Oh, the birds. <laughs> <laughs> There's birds up there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, I know. You love birdies. <laughs> All right. And this morning, we woke up to straight up fog. As you can see, it is extremely foggy out today. And so a fun fact that we just learned about the car as we tried to use cruise control on this highway is... The uh, autopilot system does not work if the cameras are not visibly seeing everything on the road. So um, I had it set and it kept slowing me down because of the visibility issues. As, as you can see, there is a lot of fog. Last night, uh, we went to bed and we went to bed at 49% state of charge. And then when we woke up this morning, we were at 46% state of charge. Normally we only would see about a 1% loss overnight, but because the weather is starting to change into the cooler climate, the weather was, uh, I believe, below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So we did lose 3%, which is not a lot. It's not a crazy amount, but just something to note that, you know, battery, they lose more range in cold weather because the battery management system has to work harder to keep the battery pack, you know, safe. No charging around us. We got on the highway and literally the densest fog I have ever seen in my life. Like could not see. Because we're just using cameras, cameras can only see basically what the eye can see. So I could see X and the camera could see the same thing. If Tesla were to use LiDAR and radar, we may have had better luck with the vehicle being able to stay in autopilot mode because LiDAR can see through some fog, not amazingly, but it can see through fog a little bit. And radar can definitely see through fog. But then also I wonder like, is that the safest route to go or should we just be slowing down because of the fog? So probably just be slowing down because of the fog. It is uh safest route what we have random new technology in our car. No, I mean but just in mean, general. Of course like, you should slow down in fog. Slow down in <laughs> yeah. fog, people. <laughs> Because <laughs> you never know when you're going to just rear end someone who's actually going slower because of the fog. Right. So in reality, the cameras are probably safer and it does make sense. But it was just something that, you know, I thought of and I was just curious. There's literally no charging infrastructure where we are. It's, it's bare bones. And that is, for the first time ever, our one, like, negative experiences there is no charging i mean if we were staying at someone's house of course we could just plug in with the 120 we are 40 minutes from any charging so we are not able to go out to breakfast with the family this morning they were all very disappointed mm -hmm. and kind of making fun of us we're down here we're gonna get some breakfast we're gonna walk willow and you know we'll update as we uh continue the day perfect sign for this channel there's one of them Watts, exit one mile, this area called Watts. Well, let me tell you, there's a lack of Watts in the area because we, there was literally no charging anywhere. But um, I just thought it was funny, you know, kilowatts, electric cars. But the next sign, the next sign is a little bit better. Is this the one? Yep, there it is. Watts, exit, a quarter mile, no services. Good morning, it is day two. We had an epic time at the wedding, it was so much fun. Congratulations to the two lovely newlyweds. 
and we are about to get on the road. We have 46%. says we're going to arrive at our supercharging location at 14%. Whoa. Uh, That's yeah. the lowest we've ever been. Yeah. <laughs> yeah lowest. Typically, <laughs> typically, we plan ahead a little more than that, but we are going to give it a go. Let's see how we do. Uh, beautiful sunny day, so we should be able to just have nice cruise on autopilot and get to our next destination stop. Willow has been fed. She is ready yeah. to rock. She's got and her she beds. Is through the pet carrier that we got from Tesla. We'll have to do another video about that, but it's awesome. It's very cool. Say good morning. <laughs> All right. We are on the road, homeward bound. Once again, 3% battery loss in the overnight. So mm -hmm. the cold temperatures are clearly they do affect battery loss much more than the warmer weather. When we knew that going into it, Normally, obviously, being at home, we can charge overnight. So it's a very different experience when the car's just parked out overnight and you're not charging. And when there's no charging at your location or anywhere near your location, certainly not the uh, best outcome <laughs> for your electric vehicle experience. But we're still enjoying it, still loving the car, and we're ready to continue on our way. We just dropped below 20% uh, state of charge. And so the battery, instead of being black, like on an iPhone, is now yellow, like low power mode, like on an iPhone. So as you can see there, the battery is yellow, 19%. But a very interesting thing happened as we were traveling. We had the destination in as our home. And as we were driving, all of a sudden, the map changed and it said 3%. And I'm like, 3%? It said we were going to get there 14%. Now 19% we're going to arrive there at. And I realized that the car changed the destination. Uh, well, the car changed the stop to just ending at home. And it said we were going to arrive at 3% state of charge, which I was like, I'm not comfortable with that. I have to stop anyway. But kind of interesting fact. So if you put in your destination, it may change at some point being like, oh no, you can keep going and make it. But then you can always add uh, waypoints and add the stops in if you, you need to stop or you want to stop. So just an interesting fact that I didn't know it would do and it just did that. Here we are at our destination charger and we are currently underway with that. And it's very nice, most charging locations have grass behind, so we are able to get out and walk Willow. Willow. And she's very happy. She loves coming out with the car and stretching her legs just like we do, right, baby? Yeah. 